YouTube, what's the motherfucking deal, y'all? It is your boy, Prince Be the Prince. Back at it again with a new reaction video, baby. That's yes, Sirski, you already know what's up. Three or less, we in the gang, man. How y'all feeling today? I hope y'all feeling good. Finna hit y'all with a new reaction. Prim's Hood Cinema, you feel me? Pretty sure y'all heard of him. If y'all haven't, link is gonna be in the description down below. We're gonna be reacting to Four Brothers, you feel me? If you know, you know. Four Brothers is lit. Four Brothers is a... I wouldn't say... It. Is it a hood classic? Is it a hood classic? Hmm. Leave me down in the comment section if you think Four Brothers is a hood classic. But if you enjoy the video, man, like, comment, subscribe, share, feedback, all that good stuff, man. And like I said, link is going to be in the uh, description down below for the full video. Let's get it cracked. Hot as fuck, man. I'm gonna wait for this damn V way to be over. It starts off with this old lady working in a corner store one night. They bought to close up the store when she <laughs> wait. Why you gotta say it like that? First off, it starts off with this old lady at a grocery. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Prem is always straight to the point, man. That's why I fuck with his video stuff. He funny as hell. Is this little kid trying to steal some candy? Okay, Darnell. So the candy just happened to jump into your pocket, huh? Please don't call the police, man. Please. Come on, That's Darnell. What happens when you shoplift, there's consequences. What well, is this? Some damn candy. I don't want to go to jail. I happen to believe. Well, worth more. don't be stealing, little Danny. All right? Don't be stealing. Especially don't go in there with no weapon. Because you know, right there, that's like they're going to add, what, another for five years to that? Five years, five, ten years of that charge. Yeah, don't do that. This is going to be aggravated. It was an aggravated robbery. Bro, how does nigga get caught stealing a single Tootsie Roll? You know how easy it should be to steal this little ass piece of candy? This nigga suck at shoplifting. That's a mid ass candy, also. Why you even Facts. still standing here? Facts. Just run. What's all this talk? Facts. I don't. Tootsie Roll. Nah, it's just not it. If you just. If you. You just out here just claiming, yeah, I eat Tussie Rolls for fun. You 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 got black Air Force energy, sir. I'm going to let you know that. You got black Air Force energy. Just saying. Talking for her. She's not going to catch you, bro, in a million years. The lady lets him off the hook, though, and she goes back to working in the store. She's here with her favorite co-worker also, this weird-ass Middle Eastern nigga. So... Let's take a look at these Thanksgiving birds. Oh, nice. Nice and plump. <laughs> Just then, two robbers come in and demand all the money out of the cash register. Yo, Osama, Osama, get me out of the register now! Did you hear what he said? This America, homeboy. Black people don't get what they want in this country. Why should you? Please! Nigga, don't act like you socially conscious now. Right, you know, like, like a goddamn what? corner store, dog. Also, I like how he cut his mask. What was the point of that, though? Like, really, honestly, what was the point of even shooting him after saying that? Like, is you that mad? Like, what he do to you? He just, what he just a dude that work at a liquor store. You got to be that hurting inside, my friend. You got to be that hurting. Heal yourself specifically to show off this little braid shit on his face just so he can have an incriminating detail i guess he a good criminal they shoot the old lady and they leave and it's sad sad hood movie the old lady had four adopted sons and they all come hey. back home to detroit for the funeral they all four brothers <laughs> come on taraji Damn, Taraji was in this movie? That's Bobby Murphy. I didn't even realize it. Heavyweight champion fuck up of the family. Who's the kid? Oh, that's Jack. He's the youngest. Jeremiah's all right. She told me everything. You know, it was a rising star in the union for a while. Trust me, father. These kids are constantly Come on, man. compared to what they would have been. Come on, man. Terrence. We gotta get him, man. Howard is a policeman in the movie. He's investigating the old lady murder with his partner, and he's giving all sorts of exposition out for us. Then they stop by Andre 3000 house after the funeral to pay their respects. He one of the brothers. It's four brothers. You got 
guys probably don't remember us, but I'm your Uncle Bobby, and this is Cracker Jack. Don't teach them that, man. Really? You're not my uncle. You're white. Mm. Right, you're all That's under right. arrest. Don't nobody move. I know, man. Kid playing basketball across the street, witness two gangbangers running in there shooting up the place. Come so on, we... Green. I used to make a good living around here because cops like you guys couldn't find tits in a strip joint. Yeah. <laughs> and their fourth brother, Jody, is here. Why he just shoot on them like that? <laughs> <laughs> and it don't help the sound effects. Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, the editing is pure genius. I need to learn how to edit like that. Here waiting for them now. I haven't seen you. Tyrese. Yeah, no. Did you get your teeth fighting? Shut up. The all four brothers still, and they sad about their mom and their house now. This big ass house. All these niggas got their own room and shit. I thought she worked at a damn corner store. How the fuck? Jody goes to see his old girlfriend, generic, crazy, Latina girl. She's played by Sofia Vergara. This is the first thing I ever saw her in, I'm pretty sure. But she all star. She bad as shit. She moves Max. in after her last Max. boyfriend starts shooting at her when he caught her and Jody together. Mark Wahlberg is here being super racist to her the whole time. That sounds about right. Loco Ono is not staying in this house. Bullshit, Bobby. I don't care. La Vida Loca ain't staying in this house. Come on, Mark Wahlberg. You cool, but... You got some issues, my guy. You buff as hell, though. Look at them arms. Like, look, look at them arms. Like, my oh boy Ben Jack. One more night, I got this cover. What's wrong with you? Go back upstairs. Why you let him talk to me like that? Go upstairs. Why do you always do that? Don't you know, man, I'm watching the game. Come on. I think I watch the hockey game. <laughs> They all start hallucinating that the mom is there at the table with them. What the fuck was in this turkey, bro? Who even made this shit? These niggas know, made a whole know. ass Check Thanksgiving X. dinner? That's impressive. That's not easy. Also, where is the Hispanic girl? Did they not invite this bitch downstairs to Thanksgiving dinner? That's kind of fucked up. Damn, she get to eat. She get to eat alone? That's cold, gang. Zip up your mouth, Jeremiah. You know, oh, I'm pausing right there for a second. You know what I noticed about turkey growing up now? Motherfuckers did not know how to make turkey, bro. Every Thanksgiving growing up, turkey was probably the last thing I ate. Like, this shit wasn't seasoned. And I'm like, yo, y'all niggas don't season y'all meat, fam. What's wrong with y'all? Like, damn, get in the cabinet. Use the lorries, the garlic salt, something. Oh, my God. It's just stuff that motherfucker thinking that's gonna give it some flavor man what's wrong with y'all you grow up in a barn more tattoos angel please believe me later on they go to talk to some lawyer about their mom's last will and testament it's real sad they real sad about it how much do we get and report hospital so i am from detroit Okay, yeah, that is surprising. Why the fuck do you have this super country ass, thick ass accent? Where that shit even come from then? How did nobody <laughs> mention that shit? This nigga's wearing overalls right now, bro. This nigga dressed like old McDonald. He's so out of place. They ain't even try to make him look any less country. That's hilarious. They go to the bar afterwards and get drunk. Conveniently, the bartender has a clue about their mom's murder for some reason. Okay. Johnny, come tell us what's going on. You wanna know what I heard? What is our plan? Uh, come you play on, man. and it records. You can choose exactly what you want it to record, whether it be kills, assists, Bruh. deaths. They track down their first suspect, and he a gang member or something. He's hanging out at this super cool bando party. What is this? This shit hella dirty. Who would hang oh. out in here? This oh, man, bitch is in here and like, everything. What kind of party is this? What's the deal? <laughs> Which one of your boys shot up the liquor store on 104th Street? The police got witnesses, bro. Don't even hit us with no bullshit. Hey, tough guy. Hey. Police said those people wasn't killed till 11 o'clock. So what? So they turned the court lights out at 10. They realized the witness was lying. Nobody was playing basketball when the mom got shot. Now it's the next day, and they go to the store to find some more clues. Mm -mm. This doesn't add up. He's already got the money. 
was the plan here. Granny. Granny. How you just gonna shoot Granny like that? Like, dang, you, you could have just shot her with a pistol. You just 12 gauge the damn. At least have some type of mercy. Supposedly there was a witness told the police this was a gang shooting. You know anything about that? It's the plan, Bobby. We're winging it, Jerry. We're always winging it. Winging it, Jerry. Some of you probably knew my mother, and some of you probably know she was shot about a week ago across the street. Dog lover, ring any bell? Damn. Uh. <laughs> I feel like a crazy white dude in a school or whatever with a gun. That should have got a more serious reaction. Nobody even care, low key. Y'all not gonna call the hey. cops on these niggas? How do they keep getting away with all this shit? They find the witness's little brother and figure out his address and all that. Ain't they okay. confront Hold the on. guy, but he runs. Hold on. Hold on. With a gun. Am I tripping? That should have got a more serious reaction. Is that a stain? Am I tripping? Uh, maybe, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe, maybe I'm Nobody even care, low key. Y'all not gonna call the cops on these niggas? How do they keep getting away with all this shit? They find the witness's little brother and figure out his address and all that. They confront the guy, but he runs away, and now they have this dope ass little action scene. It's a good ass time. You Damien! You Damien! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh, Yo, Damien, I just wanna ask you a few questions. I got something for your ass. Oh. Don't shoot the dog, don't shoot the dog. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. Don't say don't I ain't <laughs> right before he was about to end to his demise. Uh don't say don't shoot my dogs, but you gonna sick the dog on him like that. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Really? What would any sensible person do in that situation? I'm just saying. Come on, man, call me that man. I want to know who shot up that liquor store now. Man, I, I didn't see no one. Say what? Speak up. Can't hear you, playboy. It's hard to hear you out here with all this wind. If we leave, ain't nobody else going to hear you out here either. This nigga is right next to somebody's window, bro. I'm sure people can hear all Ain't this nobody shit. home? It's kind of hard to ignore, actually. Y'all niggas just had a whole gunfight in the hallway. The cops should have already been here. You pulled a gun out on some children just now. How y'all getting away with this? The Afro dude tells the brothers what they need to know. Logic. Apparently, the two goons from earlier paid him to give a false statement and throw the cops off. The brothers find the said goons in this random bar, and now they have another good-ass action scene. <laughs> Oh, my man got popped in the shoulder. That was a nice little. That was a nice slid on their mom, and now they. That was a nice little tail whip. Come on now, Pokemon. Come on, come on. He tail whipped that ass. <laughs> <laughs> he tell with that ass. I plan. Got to find out who hired them and why. Terrence Howard tells them to stop killing people in the street and solving their own crimes, but they don't listen to him. Where's your car, Bobby? It's not outside. Look, Bobby, if you got something, you give it to me. Don't try and take on Detroit by your damn self. Keep knocking on the devil's door long enough, and sooner or later, somebody gonna answer you. Damn, bro. This nigga want to say Maine so bad. You can see it <laughs> in his face, bro. I'm proud of you. you haven't said it yet. The whole movie. This episode of Princess Cinema is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Did you know that your internet service yeah, provider knows this. every single web? No disrespect to you, Graham, but we ain't getting paid for this sponsorship, so this will not be on my channel. We cut over to the main bad guy now. His name is Victor Sweet, played by Chiwetel Ejiofor. He's the one who hired the two goons that killed the lady. This is a top tier villain intro, by the way. This nigga's barely in the movie though. He shows up like 50 minutes into this shit, but it's still a good ass villain. He all stopped. I remember hearing my 
Out of town. Shoot us. Come on, back. You pay him to get the hell back out of town. That's why I asked. Hey, ain't that same background music from that one uh that one uh TikTok video or whatever? And I remember, hold on. Ah, <laughs> yes it is. Out of town shoot us. You hungry, Evan? I'll tell you what, you wanna come in my restaurant and eat? Go ahead, eat, dog, eat! Eat! I ain't, I ain't that hungry no more. And you gonna eat off the ground. We go back to the four brothers. And you gonna eat off the ground. Bro, you... You just gonna... Have to, you might just gotta kill me at that point. Unless I really fear him for my life, you just gotta kill me. Because I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can go out like that, big dog. I don't know. You might as well just... I'm <laughs> One to the dome, big dog. And they at the hitman's apartment looking for all sorts of clues. Then Jody goes off by himself to do his own solo investigation around the hood. They all link back up at the house later with the clues and they start putting shit together. That's that lawyer guy. That shit had said. He said he only met her once, Bobby. You might have to spend a night up in this bitch. Oh, you don't think up. EM stands for Evelyn Mercer, do you? Mate. Angel! Nice. They break into the lawyer's house to look for some more clues, of course, until the crazy Latina chick pulls up and starts making everything super hot. What the fuck is wrong with this lady, man? She's making everything about her and her relationship. Uh, These niggas' mom just got murdered. Just, just typical. 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 This thing got nothing to do with you, Chief. Nothing to do with you. That. Oh. God damn. Leave them alone. You screaming at them and shit all the time. They Waking want you to stay up the in the damn house neighbors. and everything. You don't even care. You trying to get them locked up and shit you right now. The this is the What's worst wrong character ever. What the fuck? She bad as shit though. Excuse me. What, yeah. what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? No. Your mother and I were, were seeing each other socially. Socially? I have some of your mother's night things what? if you want. They... The next day they're hanging out and Jody tells his brothers <laughs> all about his solo <laughs> adventures. <laughs> Oh man, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey, back it up, back it up. <laughs> he says that Andre 3000 was trying to get a business started and he might have got mixed in with some gangsters. Word around town is that Jerry owe a lot of people some money. Evan, Jerry. I found out Jerry got a big insurance check for mom's death. Yo, Vanda! Angel tells me you want to Victor Sweets Boys now. Here he's running shit like his uncle used to, treating you like a house nigga. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't like that. I guess if John Singleton is cool with it. Wow. Wow. Damn. Oh, man. Mark, my guy. Chill. Chill. Damn. It's his movie. Still, though, if you grew up with black brothers, you should know better. It's like the number one rule of black people. What's wrong with Damn. you? They confront Andre 3000 at the house and ask him Damn. about the Victor Sweet business he's been doing. Y'all yeah. tripping because I made insurance payments? He's... Y'all tripping because I made insurance payments? <laughs> He was so flabbergasted, appalled. <laughs> what? I paid all her bills. Bail. <laughs> oh no. I can't be laughing this hard. <laughs> I can't be the only one laughing this hard. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That edit was, <laughs> that edit was genius. <laughs> I'll crack it up. Oh my God. Andre 3000 explains the whole situation. I wasn't listening. 
he didn't do nothing wrong though. Meanwhile, Victor Sweet sends out a whole van oh, full of man. goons to spray all the four brothers up. Again, this is a top tier action scene. It's a good ass movie, bro. The Come little brother gets shot boy. and killed though during this scene. It's only three brothers now. What the fuck? This false advertisement. Good cool white boy. Last. Ooh, a brick at his ass. Jack, look at me. Jack, you all right? Dang. Come on, man. <laughs> you can't tell me this is Doc Ali. It's sad my, my, my white boy gonna know, RP Jack. Terrence Howard partner is dirty or something and working for Victor Sweet. Terrence Howard tries to turn him in, but ends up getting killed in the process. Ah! 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 See, I hate dirty cops. Hey, wait, there's something I forgot. What? What the fuck you wanna say to me? Oh, The three brothers come up with one final plan. They go and talk to Victor Sweet's goons to set up a meeting. They gotta distract the crooked cop or else their plan won't work properly. Hey kid, man, I need a big favor. I'll give you 20 bucks in this whole box of Baby Ruth. Really? Baby Ruth? Jody breaks into the dirty cop's house and tricks him into confessing or something. I don't know, it's probably kind of stupid actually. We cut over to the meeting with Victor Sweet and we finally see the brothers full plan in action. They go take the money from the life insurance policy and pay off all the henchmen that Victor Sweet was hoeing. Me and my brothers, we came up with a whole new proposal. A whole new proposal, is that right? Instead of giving you the 400 grand, we decided we give it to these mistreated workers you got standing behind you. Kevin, I said pistol. Uh, no. Mm. Mark Wahlberg shows up and him and Victor Sweet have a hand-to-hand -a -hand combat on top of a frozen lake. It's also kind of stupid. Just yeah, shoot this nigga. Oh, oh, Bobby Mercer. <laughs> Back in time. <laughs> 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 That three hit it's combo. A happy ending now. They all killed hella people and got away with it. They rebuilding their mom house and now Mark Wahlberg finally gets to see his mom ghost or a zombie or whatever one last time. Evelyn isn't coming back, is she? No, she's not coming back. Cause she's dead, huh? Damn. Oh, it's so good to have you back home, son. Badass kid. Yeah. That's yeah, man. Movie. I think this is a good ass movie. Facts. I grew up watching it, so it's probably a little nostalgia talking. But even John Singleton himself, he said it's like a R. Saturday John night Singleton, movie. Man. It's not supposed to be that deep. It's just a cool ass action movie. All the four brothers had crazy good chemistry. They definitely felt like real brothers at times. Most of the dialogue and everything felt natural to me. I love this shit. It's great. I give it four out of five brothers. Definitely recommend it. <laughs> this shit's kind of long though. They could have shaved a few minutes off this shit, but it's all good. All right. That's going to be the end of the video, man. Y'all want to watch the rest of it or the whole video without any interruptions? Like I said, link in the description below, man. But this shit was comedy. Four Brothers, definitely a dope ass movie, man. Brings back hella memories for real. I remember watching that shit when it first came out. That shit was hard. Little kid seen a bunch of motherfuckers shooting each other, and then they killed grandma. What? And they, they and they didn't even get. You know what's crazy? They didn't even give a fuck about the other dude that was working there. They didn't give a fuck about him. They just care. They just care about the grandma. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, man, like, comment, subscribe, share, feedback. 
all that good stuff. Everything is greatly appreciated, man. Make sure you sub to the channel again. Road to 500 subs, man. Three or less the game. It's your boy Prince be the Prince. I'm out. Peace.